Hello there, Wastelander. Do you find your life meaningless, shallow, and otherwise devoid of pleasure? Does polishing the skulls of your conquered enemies just not hold the same allure as it used to? Have you ever found yourself wishing you have some kind of creative outlet, hobby, or just a therapeutic pastime to keep away the inexorable tide of existential dread? You do? Then why not try Gluck Cotton? Yes, you heard me correctly. Gluck Cotton, Gaslands UK's Car of the Month Challenge. The post-apocalyptic die-cast toy car modelling competition. Each month, we give away a plethora of top-notch, high-quality prizes donated by these generous sponsors. Tired of spending all your hard-earned bottle caps on other more expensive hobbies? You need Gaslands. Perhaps you have a large collection of toy cars nearby, either procured from a human child or recently acquired from the loft or attic of a parent or tribal elder. You need Gaslands. Do you have a penchant for the cinematic works of visionary director George Miller? You need Gaslands. If you said yes to most of these questions, then come along and make new virtual friends in a safe and friendly environment made from those other nasty wastelanders at Gaslands UK Facebook group. Greetings Gaslanders and welcome to this webisode of the Gaslands UK Car of the Month results and review. Oh, I'm glad you could come and join us. It's been a good month, not as busy as last month, but we've had 25 entries this month and I'm looking forward to sharing them all with you. But before that, there's a few announcements to be made. Thanks to the suggestions from a few members of the Gas Hands community, I've set up a Buy Me a Coffee page, which is a way for any viewers out there who appreciate the efforts I make to bring you these high-quality videos showcasing the community's work. Um, so a huge thank you to this month's supporters. That is Daryl Buckmaster, David Busset, Matt Andrews, Matthew Dobson and Nick Kitch for their caffeine tips thank you that's been brilliant i've um plowed it back into some very deliciously strong and dark blends of espresso and that'll keep my eyes wide open for the <laughs> next few weeks so if you'd like to support me i would be very grateful head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash matt reeve also worth noting this month is the official launch of the gas and uk merchandising shop or store, which is now stocked with some awesome t-shirts, hoodies, mugs and a bag. We're stocking a few different designs at the moment. We've got our Cranky Piston logo on the front of most of these, but on the back of the hoodie and the black t-shirt, we've got this biker style logo, established 2018 Gaslands UK, and tells the world you are a diecast modder. Check them out. That is gaslandsuk.bigcartel.com. Uh, look the coolest kid on the block. Why don't you? So, who's the sponsor for this month? Let's have a look. Drumroll, please. It's Clamsell Designs. Wow. Well known in the gas stands community for being one of the highest quality providers of 3D printed parts. We've got a particular reputation for wheels. Their online wheel designer, you can mix and match the treads and the hubs. Um, check out their website and their social media. Uh, they are well worth investing in a few bits. Fran Mendoza of the company it was kind enough to lend me some samples of their designs. And I must say, I am particularly impressed. I'm not just saying that because I've got some freebies. 
Um, these are particularly high quality prints. Very, very fine details. They are printed in ABS like plastic resin, um, which, for those who don't know, is that's extra tough, extra tough resin. And they they are great. They are very nice designs. They come on the sprue, so I suppose partly to protect them, but that's also so you can clip them off as you need and use what you need. There's some very nice modular pieces in there. The weapons, the modular weapons are fantastic. There's mix and match barrels and uh, bodies and, well, all different parts of guns that you can shake up, mix and match. There's mix and match exhausts and engines, which are also great, very modular, so you can swap around and create your own designs. This is from the police set, which I will show you some examples of in a minute. Um, lights, lighting bars from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, up to modern day. So you can get any look you like. And here is what I did with them. I took this old Ford Mercury and this newer Ford Mustang and I've turned them into a classic, classic cop car. Old school, nice and rusty highway patrol here with this belt fed machine gun, which was a very nice little greebly that gets included in the Kyamsil weapons pack. Custom made decals there. Um, and there's much more cyberpunk, futuristic style with this sci-fi like rotating minigun Gatling cannon thing um, and this beautiful bull bar the lights the fuel tank in the back all provided by Camsil Designs some very nice high quality bits and bobs so thank you and uh, lucky lucky winners this month because you get to spend your vouchers on some of these beautiful little parts. Here we are with the prizes. In first place, Camsil Designs are offering a £30 voucher. That's the equivalent to €34 Euros or €40. US dollars. In second place, we have a £20 voucher, the equivalent to €23 Euros or €27. US dollars. And in third place, a £10 voucher. It's approximately €11 Euros or $13. Still, not to be sniffed at. Go check out Kimesil Design's website uh, and start mentally spending your voucher now. I would. And the theme this month. What's the theme? Bring out the camper van. Run VT. Let's have a look. This month's theme is alternative power sources. So with the advent of panic buying petrol in the UK this week, it's as if the sponsor was psychic. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just here for the gasoline. The world has run out of gasoline. And what are you going to do about it? First off would be renewable power sources. They're the obvious start, wouldn't they? Wind, sails, propellers... Solar is another obvious one. A car that can run on the sun alone? You bet. Or even nuclear power, like this prototype 1950s Ford. What could possibly go wrong? Bad noise. Five minutes before critical mass. Critical what? There's older technology like steam. as a tried and tested method. Obviously, human power. Pedal power. That's worth exploring. And if you can find another creature in the wasteland strong enough to pull a vehicle, you could always rely on animal power. Just remember they have to fit either in front or inside the vehicle somehow. They'll need to be able to see where they're going. And uh, don't forget to add some effective firepower. So we've got 25 entrants this month, we've got some old names and faces, we've got some newcomers to the game. Let's have a look who entered this month. Adam Pollard, Anthony J. Adams, Bart Verb, Chris Moses, Daryl Buckmaster, Guy Renzetti, 
Ricardo Pius, Ian Barham, Jimmy Gee, John Clark, Keith McAvoy, Kev Williams, Kevin Wiles, Cohen Van Kirschhafer, Matt Andrews, Matthew Dobson, Paul Chapman Moss, Richard Hubbard, Ricky Williams, Steve House, Taylor Dove, Tony Peacock, Tyler Mayhew, William Young, Zach Steiner. So first up we've got Adam Pollard, who's new to this competition. Thanks for joining us, Adam. He has done a, a, a kite-powered motorbike and sidecar from the looks of it. We've got these two guys who look like they've been custom sculpted from their crash helmets. Unfortunately, we haven't got a zoomed out shot, so we can't have a look at it properly. Just might need to tidy up some of that rust powder that has spilt over the edge, but well done. So, good day to Anthony J. Adams, who's joined us from sunny, sunny Australia, and he's created the muddy water moonshine. Now, this, this is lovely, some lovely details in here. It's pulled, it looks like a Land Rover that's being pulled by this strange robotic cockroach. Um, set in a nice diorama. It's a great job, but it's just such a shame we can't see it in its entirety with a zoomed out, out photograph. Never mind. So Bart Verm has done what looks a bit like a land train that is, is wind-powered, I presume. We've got these collapsible propellers at the front. There's a big sail on top. Um, some lovely little details in there. Great work, Bart. Love it. Chris Moses, who's 3D printed T-Rex for an Allosaurus. Um, and slapped a car on the back. I love it. There's a great big fishing rod with a cow dangling off the front of it. This minigun, nice paint colour scheme, uh, nice big chunky chains. Congratulations, Chris. Now, Daryl Buckmaster has created an entire mini diorama here. This giant sci fi beast of burden, hundreds and hundreds of skulls for the Blood God. There's a corn banner. We've got a Games Workshop kind of theme here, Chaos. Very nice paint job. Can't help thinking that the landscape that it's in is pretty, a little bit too clean. It doesn't feel a bit artificial, but fantastic job. Next up is another newcomer, Guy Renzetti, who's taken the classic Hot Wheels bone shaker uh, and modified it. Um, I believe it's, it's run on flesh, is it? There's something in the back there. Hard to tell, but thanks for joining us. Hardo pay us. I like this one. This is down, dirty and industrial, coal-powered, coal-driven, steam-driven truck. Broken glass. I love that as an idea. There's these broken glass in the sides. This big, old, grungy, dirty, rusty, industrial feel to it. I think that's a great job. Ian Barham. Ian Barham, regular Ian Barham, is back with another one of his... He just, just throws everything at it. This this guy is, is insane. Ian, well done. Um, you're, you seem to have a never-ending supply of figures and parts to put into these. It's a great big monster truck build. Thanks for joining us. Newcomer Jimmy Gee... His, his vehicle is being pulled by a team of zombies who are strapped to the front. There's a giant fishing rod again that's dangling out the front that is uh, tempting them with uh, a bucket of flesh. In the back we've got some twin machine guns, we've got some mini guns coming out the side of this six-wheeled truck. Um, very nice first attempt. Well done, Jimmy. Now, John Clark, I like this. This is a nice creative one. We've got an elephant with car roller skates. A roller skating elephant with a team of punks going all over it. There's um, this guy. <laughs> God, he must be strong holding onto that chain. Um, and some nice little details in the back. Little Needs a little bit tidy up. Needs a little bit more going on. But a uh, fantastic entry. Keith McAvoy has created a giant steam ship. Coal-powered steam ship. Uh, this is Keith's second attempt at the competition. It's it's a monster. It's absolutely huge. It looks like he's done some hand sculpting on the chimney there. There's bits of railway carriage. I would like to have seen some slightly neater text, maybe some outlines on that text to bring it out, to highlight it. But um, otherwise, well done, Keith. Kev Williams, 
is all about the methane, his methane-powered truck. I'm not entirely sure about the physics behind this. I presume that hovers behind and feeds feeds the methane into the truck, which then powers along. I don't know how they extract it from the cows. Oh, it doesn't bear thinking about. But congratulations, thank you for entry. Kevin Wiles. Are you right, Kevin? Kevin joins me from my um, home county in Norfolk. And hadn't he done a great job? That's a bit of a like a wary into that's like a wary. Um, the classic bone shaker with a great big sail on top. He's gone for a fallout vibe with a new Coca Cola advert. Uh, an orcs head plastered on top. But that's a great first attempt at car of the month entry. Well done, Kevin. Another new entrant, Kern Kern van Kirschhaver. I presume that's how you say it. Has um, created an electric vehicle. I like this. It's uh, some nice little Tesla coils and electrical parts going on. Nice cleaned paint job. Congratulations on the first entry. Matt Andrews is back. Surely going for comedy value this month. It's a giant rubber duck on legs. Giant demonic rubber duck on legs that I think looks like it's being... Is it being tamed by a loaf of bread on a chain uh, but i think this is a, this is a creative little design <laughs> really nice thinking outside the box um nice bit of textured paintwork congratulations matt matthew dobson also returns with this this giant glowing nuclear powered war rig he's created i think it's a hovering war rig we could definitely tell it's nuclear power because yeah get it get a, get a look of all the radiation symbols all over it dry brushing i think you dry brush a bit too much matt i think you should save it just for the highlights i think that there's a bit too much going on but i do love the build i think it's a great build i love that glowing flame in the back uh, congratulations well done Paul Chapman Moss has created a fun little suspended tank tracked electric powered pickup. Jason Voorhees in the front with a machine gun. I like it. Loads of batteries in the back. That uh, looks like a nice little scratch build that's going on there. All these cables. And um, I think there's a Games Workshop skull with a machine gun poking through the top. I like it. Great work. Richard Hubbard has taken us to the North Pole this month. Um, with his team of killer polar bears that are pulling what looks like to be some kind of fire truck. <laughs> it's a nice bit of a nice twist on the Christmas Christmas one. This would be great for the Christmas competition. Um, nice work. Now, I really like what Ricky Williams has done this month. He has hand-sculpted from modelling clay this magnificent uh, crab, hermit crab, that is using the back of this old-school bus um to hide in sort of a shell the paint job is beautiful that stippled paint job there's some great rusting technique going on it's um for anyone saying he's is it is it game legal yes it's an articulated war rig that he's playing it as um and this is fantastic one of the best things you've you've ever made ricky well done steve house identity crisis is he jack burton minimal effort i think he's had too many bowls this month he's forgot to even include a vehicle um it's uh, supposed to be Mario riding Yoshi. Y yeah. <laughs> Nil pois. Taylor Dove. I like this. This is fun. This is a fun one. Uh, <laughs> giraffe that's pulling these safari guys in the back. Anti-aircraft gun. There's a, a very sort of turn of the century, sort of Boer War kind of feel to it. Um <laughs> I think it's great. Well done. Nice sticking outside the box. Fantastic. Tony Peacock returns with uh, his oldie time sailing car. He's using a Dinky D advert for his sale, and anyone who knows the Mad Max franchise will realise it's a reference to that. That's the tin dog food that Max eats. Um, I like it. Strangely shiny paint job, which you've admitted yourself. But still, classic. Uh, well done, Tony. Tyler Mayhew has entered this month. Another new contestant. Unfortunately, he's only given us three pictures, so we haven't got a lot to go with. He has created this upside-down uh, flying school bus. Um, well done on your first entry. Looks like William Young's got his sewing machine out for his build this month. This giant fan on the top which presumably catches the wind and blows this multi-vehicle monster truck forward. Very inventive idea. Might be worth checking out a few tutorials on how to paint wheels and do dust and 
mud techniques, but otherwise a solid build. Well done. And last of all this month is Zach Steiner, who just appears to have recreated a scene from The Sims. Um, <laughs> he's he's uh, including this this camper van, this this RV, this recreational vehicle that. Even with the solar panels on the roof and the moustache of Molotovs on top as well, I'm not quite getting the post-apocalyptic vibe with this one. But congratulations all the same, Zach. And so, who are this month's winners, as chosen by Fran Mendoza of Kymasil Designs? Fran specifically wanted to go with people who may have only entered for the first time or may not have entered previously to encourage more entrance to the competition and so in first place Kymsil Designs have chosen Daryl Buckmaster <laughs> well done Daryl a fantastic little entry here well little is huge um, this giant 3D printed blue beast of burden that you've done a great, great paint job on. These thousands of skulls you've stuck all over it. That must have taken a long time. Um, it impressed our judge particularly. He was most fond of this uh, and deservedly so. So well done. You win the £30, that's $40 voucher to buy something from the Kymasol Designs website. In second place this month... Another newcomer to the competition. The winner is Kevin Wiles. Well done, Kevin. And our judge liked this one for its simplicity, its use of a classic Hot Wheels car. Um, he also enjoyed the new Coca Cola reference. Enjoyed the new Coca Cola sale. The use of that. Um, and think it fitted the theme perfectly. So congratulations, Kevin, on your first win in your first ever car of the month. And in third place this month, with a £10 voucher, is Jimmy Gee. Well done, Jimmy. Another new first-time entrant to the competition. I don't particularly like your use of zombies pulling your vehicle. Well done, Jimmy. Congratulations on your first ever Car of the Month ranking. Hope to see you again soon. So there we have it. That was September 2021. Uh, it's October next. It's the Halloween month. You'll have to tune in to Gas Ends UK's Facebook group to find out what the theme is that drops on the first Sunday of the month. Next month's sponsor is Dashlands. So come and join in with that. Um, please do buy me a coffee and then I can speak a bit more quickly and fit a little bit more into the video because I've been so caffeinated at buymeacoffee.com forward slash Matt Reeve I would be very grateful if you did that and of course visit at our big cartel shop gaslandsuk.bigcartel.com and come and buy some hoodies or t-shirts or bags or you know mugs Come and check out some of our fantastic merchandise. So, that's it. Thank you. And see you next month. Goodbye, Wasteland. <laughs>